Hey there viewers, Sun God 2009 Yes, that's right, you're looking at it right. This is a 2012 MacBook Pro, mid-2012 that is. And I bought this from eBay, from a seller, for um, 225 bucks, And it's in good condition, aside from that nick right there, that actually was done by me by mistake uh, I didn't have a cover for it so it slipped out of my hand because this thing is made out of aluminum and it hit the desk but that that's nothing but the machine is in great shape so this machine still works um, this is not the original charger I had this charger it's for my old white MacBook my old reliable um, I recently did a logic board replacement on it because the previous logic board decided to fail. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. Uh, I like the fact that this thing has a battery light indicator. It's still good to have one of them. The port, this is why I like the older Mac because the ports are still intact. I mean, it has the traditional Mac safe. You trip over it, boop, comes right off, no problem. Has the Ethernet port. Um, it has the uh, new FireWire 800 port, the Thunderbolt 2 port, and two USB port, and along with um, the micro SD card slot and a headphone jack. Unlike the newer MacBook, you have to you have those ports removed and ended up with just two USB-C's and a headphone jack which makes no sense which is stupid in my opinion so again more reason why I will always will forever avoid those MacBook Pros to me they're pieces of junk I've worked on them and I do not like them with that being said this is my reliable MacBook Pro and on this side was once a CD drive I took it out. It still works. I have it on another MacBook Pro and I sold it. Um, and that was on my 2011 MacBook Pro, which I serviced a lot. But um, the computer is in great shape. There's my, uh, there's the backlit keyboard, all original. The trackpad is original. The display is original. The only thing that was replaced, like I said, is the logic board. The battery is still in there. And by the way, not glued in. Idiot Apple, you glued it in? Yes, idiot Apple. Glue the battery in. What the hell were you thinking, moron? Anyway, it's running Mac OS Mojave. Mac OS Mojave, and I gotta say, um... It's alright. It's, it's, it's an okay operating system. I like the dynamic mode part. Um, yeah, Mojave 10.14. And as always, it's here it is. The MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, mid 2012 with a Core i5 processor. Third gen. Uh, 10 gigabytes of RAM. And a uh, 1500, uh, well, pretty much one and a half gigabytes of uh, graphic card, and of course, it has that's right, 500 gigabyte SSD and a secondary hard drive, which is where the original CD drive was, a one terabyte Western Digital Mechanical Drive being used as time machine. That's right. I have a portable time machine on it and it has saved my bacon many times the best part now am I a big fan of the MacBook Pros not really but I I'm sorry about that the camera cut off but yeah as I was saying it has been an amazing workhorse um, I'm not a big fan of the cooling properties as you can see it's right through here and that's the only place for the heat to escape now I do know that the um, this laptop is great for dissipating uh, heat but uh, I have seen this thing get really really hot especially in the summertime especially when I've been using it um, it has been great when I came to using Microsoft um, Windows operating system I've used it for the district and it still ran very strong regardless I swapped a new uh, 
uh, a new logic board. I never had any problems with it aside from that. So overall this was a good computer and um, I enjoy it. And this will actually be the last um, computer I'll ever own. Uh, let me see. Intensive wise, let's see if um, I can open all the applications. Well, all the browser applications. Let's see what happens. Should run really quick with an SSD. Oh, I missed Firefox. Bam. Not bad, not bad. Oh, there we are. Not bad. That's pretty good. That's awesome. This machine is awesome. I like it. Oh, another thing. You all know about the Apple remote. You can't go wrong with the Apple remote. Well, will the Apple remote work on this MacBook Pro? Let's find out. There you go. It works. And I'm lowering the um, volume. I don't want to make noise, but... That's right. It works perfectly fine on iTunes. I tested with Netflix. It works perfectly fine with it as well. So, media entertainment, remote. Bam. You can't. Hey, that's pretty cool. But, um, what am I using this computer for? Video editing, schoolwork, you name it. This is good for portability. Now, I love the Dell. I'm always a big supporter of Dell, and I will always be a big supporter of Dell. But the video editing is very easy on a final using a Final Cut Pro. Um, there are other video software like um, what is it, Adobe Premiere or no, Adobe After Effect. Any ed editing software is pretty all right, but it can beat the uh, Final Cut Pro, which is easier to use. Which is why I chose this computer. Aside from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you may leave it down below. You may subscribe. And um, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you want to see any more videos, please like, comment, and subscribe.